What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to roll back the Electra jailbreak or how to remove completely the Electra jailbreak to start fresh on iOS 11.3 all the way up to iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.4 beta 3. So this is very useful when you want to clear out anything you've done with your jailbreak, any tweaks, any mistakes, any everything installed to get back to the stock iOS and try again and start fresh. So this is how you do it. There are actually two methods to do this. You can use the the Electra script which is not very powerful but it gets the job done. I made a video about that a month ago but I'm going to show you a different method which is better in this video. So you're going to have to go to CDI in here and you're going to have to add the packx repo which is uh, repo.packx.com if you don't have it. Then you're going to go ahead here and search for semi restore 11. So semi restore and is this one in here, Semi Restore 11 or Rolectra. This one has been made by Pound Owned, which has actually worked on the Electra jailbreak. So he's definitely aware of what Electra installs, so he knows what to remove. All right, so as you can see, the installation is now complete. And if I go ahead in here, I can see the start application with the R icon. But something you need to know about this application is that it's going to remove absolutely anything on your device. So warning, you're going to remove all your data, including the photos, the contacts, the messages, the applications, and so on. So make a backup of your data before you proceed. In some cases, uh, the application does have a warning, but in some cases, the warning doesn't show up. So yeah, if you do not see the warning, you may as well not know that, you know, the application will remove anything. But yes, it's the equivalent of restoring your phone again to the same version. This is not going to update your device. You're going to still be running iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.3.1 or even iOS 11.4 beta 3. But yeah, this is going to revert absolutely anything to stock, including all the data on the phone. So I'm saying it again, because I'm not liable for any data loss. Do a backup of your data before you proceed, because all your data will be erased. So what is going to happen? The device is going to pretty much be restored to the same iOS version. It's going to erase anything, and you're going to go through the setup process again. You're going to connect with your Apple ID again. You're going to reconfigure absolutely anything again. Keep that in mind. So now all you have to do is to press the on jailbreak button in there and that's pretty much it. You press OK on the warning and that's it. Your phone will restart, will show the Apple logo and at that point it will look like you're restoring the device. Keep that in mind. So again, the last warning, back up your data. I actually managed to lose my data once with this program because the pop-up telling me that it's going to remove all the data did not show up. So yeah, be very, very careful what you're doing. Now, do not consider that it's the same method as going on the settings and pretty much pressing erase data. If you do that, you're going to mess up your jailbreak in the future. So if you're running this method in here, you will revert back to iOS, to the stock iOS, but you will be able to jailbreak again in the future with the same Electra if you don't update your phone. So without further ado, let's do it. I'm going to press in here and this is going to show this in here, but sometimes, as I said, some tweaks may interfere with it and it may not show up. So that's why I wanted to let you know that everything will be erased. So I press erase all and that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.